Catacombe dei Cappuccini, or the Capuchin Catacombs of Palermo, is located in Palermo, Sicily, southern Italy. In the 16th century, the monks in the Capuchin monastery had run out of room to bury their dead in their original cemetery. So as a solution, they began to excavate crypts beneath the cemetery. They would mummify their deceased brothers and place them in the newly built crypt. It is said that the dry atmosphere inside the catacombs allowed for the natural mummification of the bodies. They would be placed in racks until the bodies were completely dehydrated of fluids, and then later the dehydrated bodies would be washed with vinegar, after which the deceased monks would be preserved in their robes, some of them with the ropes that they had worn as penance. As time went by, the catacomb would become the resting place of other locals as well as other famous people at the time, as it had become a sort of status symbol to be entombed in the capuchin tombs. They would be dressed in their best clothing while the priests wore their clerical robes. The relatives of the deceased would make donations to go towards the maintenance of the catacombs. The last body entombed there belonged to Rosalia Lombardo, who was only two years old at the time of her death. Her body was perfectly preserved that you would think that she was only asleep. And because of this, she had been dubbed the Sleeping Beauty. What was a quiet resting place for the dead has become a macabre tourist attraction today you will be able to see thousands of the mummified bodies lining the walls, laying on the shelves, or tucked away in open coffins. Each hall was divided into categories. The men, women, virgins, children, priests, monks, and professionals. Some of the bodies were even set in poses, like children sitting together in a rocking chair. In the past, the only barrier you might find separating the living from the dead was a flimsy rope. That was so that the bodies would be accessible to the relatives of the deceased or hold their hands in prayer. However, in recent years, a railing has been put up, presumably to protect the dead from prying hands. While it is indeed a morbid attraction, Visiting there could give us an extraordinary insight to history. However, we have to remember that they were not placed there for our amusement, and that we still have to keep a certain distance and be respectful towards the dead.